In 1905, Albert Einstein shook the world with four papers, each of which revolutionized physics. But his Nobel Prize in 1921 was awarded for just one of these discoveries, and it's not the one you think. Discovered in 1887 by Heinrich Hertz and elaborated on by half a dozen other physicists in the following decade and a half, the photoelectric effect is the emission of electrons that occurs when light strikes a material, typically a solid. But the emission is curious. Sometimes electrons are emitted and sometimes they're not. And stranger still, whether the electrons are emitted depends only on the color of the light, not the brightness. This puzzled physicists. After all, according to Maxwell's laws of electromagnetism, if you shine any color light wave on a substance for long enough, it will eventually transfer enough energy to kick an electron out. And yet, that never happened. Stranger still, it was observed that the speed of the emitted electron also didn't depend on the intensity of the light, but only on the color, again at odds with Maxwell's electromagnetism. Something was fundamentally wrong. So now enter Einstein 1905. Inspired by the work of Max Planck in 1900, Einstein proposed that light is not a wave, but a stream of particles. Furthermore, he suggested that the energy that each particle carries is proportional to its frequency, which also determines its color. So, he reasoned that when one of these particles strikes a material, it's either energetic enough to kick an electron out or not. That is, each material has a threshold energy called the work function. If the particle's energy is smaller than this threshold, no electrons are ejected. If it's greater, the energy of the emitted electron is equal to the energy of the incident light particle minus the threshold energy. This simple model explained all of the observations of the photoelectric effect. Intensity of light was now related to the number of particles, so if each particle surpassed the threshold energy, it follows that if you have more particles, you'll get more emitted electrons. Furthermore, it also means that regardless of the intensity of the light, if each individual particle didn't pass the threshold energy, no electrons would be emitted. In a very real sense, Einstein was the first to propose a physical quantum of light. This discovery, together with others in the early 20th century, led to quantum physics as we know it. This was Einstein's Nobel moment.